in this video we will still be discussing about the length of a line segment and the midpoint however this problem is quite complicated compared to the previous one let's start so three of the vertices of a parallelogram AD are a negative 5 negative 1 point B negative 1 negative 4 point C 6 negative 2 so we are asked to find the midpoint of AC and the next one we will be finding the coordinates of D so basically if we have problems like this the best thing that we need to do is that we need to plot the given points so that we will be able to see the diagram or the illustration so if we're going to plot this we can have uh, let's draw our coordinate plane first Okay, this point. So the first point is negative 5, negative 1. Negative 5, negative 1. So the x is negative 5. Four, five. Okay, so we can say that this will be negative 5, negative 1, point A negative 5 negative 1 next we have your point B negative 1 negative 4 so 1 2 3 4 put it here and let's say that this is your point B which is negative 1, negative 4. Okay, next, we have your point C, which is 6, negative 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 2. So approximately here. Okay, so this is C. 6, negative 2. Let's try to make it smaller. Or else we will have no space data. So this is your point C, 6, negative 2. 2, 4, 6. Okay. So these are the three points which are given. So we're going to connect this. We'll have so connect A and B. And then if we're going to connect the B and the C. Oops. Wait. seems that the application are having some trouble okay it's okay so just like that just to show that uh, it is connected because the application are having some trouble so here we are asked to find uh, the midpoint of AC and then later we will be finding or we will solve for the coordinates of D so let's start with the midpoint of AC so that will be from this point going to this point so that would be the midpoint of ac so again to be able to solve for the midpoint we need to use the formula that we had in the previous video and that is your x sub 1 plus x sub 2 
over 2. And then for the y, that would be y sub 1 plus y sub 2 all over 2. So we can say that the midpoint, so this is solving problem letter A. So we can say that the midpoint of AC, so based on the given here, A and C. So substitute, so that's, I'm going to write the formula again. That would be x sub 1 plus x sub 2 over 2, y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2. So this will be for your midpoint. Now let's try to substitute the values of A, point A, and point C. So this will give us a negative 5. Substitute, this will give us negative 5 plus 6 all over 2. And then for the y, that would be negative 1 plus negative 2 all over 2. So we're going to simplify this. We will be able to get the midpoint which is equal to 1 over 2 and negative 3 halves. Okay. 1 over 2 and negative 3 halves. Okay, so let's proceed. Let's try to answer the second problem. So the second problem is asking us to find the coordinates of D. Uh, so it is really evident here that our parallelogram is not yet complete because the given points are only A, B, and C. So that are the three given points. Now let's proceed. Let's start to solve problem. Let's start with the second problem. Okay, letter B. So let's find the coordinates of D. Now, uh, let's make a representation. Suppose uh, we will let our coordinates D be equal to the point M, N. Okay. Now remember that since A, B, C, D is a parallelogram based on the given, this is a parallelogram. So we can say that the midpoint of B, D, if there will be point here, the midpoint of B, D is the same as the midpoint of A, C. Because they, based on the problem, it is a parallelogram. And in the parallelogram, the midpoints will be so our point B, based on the given, so point B is negative 1, negative 4. So to be able to uh, find the value or the point D, we need to apply here the midpoint formula. So let's find the midpoint of BD. So for the midpoint of BD, so we can say that, oops, let's change color. So we can say that the midpoint of BD is equal to substitute the given based on the given here on top. So that would be negative 1. Plus m all over 2 and then we're going to have a negative 4 plus n all over 2 so this will be equal to it will be equal to the given there So 
would be equal to so our mid our result a while ago the midpoint of hc is 1 over 2 so we will utilize this again so 1 over 2 and negative 3 halves so the thing that we will be doing here this is similar in the previous video that we had about the midpoint formula so we're going to equate the x to the midpoint formula of the x we're going to equate here the y to the midpoint formula of the y so we can say that equating the x coordinates so equating the x coordinates that will be equal to negative 1 plus m all over 2 is equal to 1 over 2 so we can either multiply the whole equation by 2 or you can also do cross multiplication so this gives us negative 1 plus m is equal to 1 so therefore we can say that the m is equal to positive 2 so that would be the value of our m now let's solve for the n so we will be so we can solve for the n by equating the y coordinates so we're going to equate equating the y coordinates so we're going to equate the y coordinates this yields to negative 4 plus n over 2 is equal to negative 3 over 2 so it will be cross multiplication or multiply both sides by 2 negative 4 plus n is equal to negative 3 so therefore we can say that our n here will be equal to positive 1 so we can conclude that the point D is 2, 1. Okay, this is our point D. Point D is 2, 1. So approximately, we're going to plot this point also here. So our illustration will be uh, finished, or the diagram. You can see our parallelogram here so positive 2 positive 1 it will be here so we're going to connect this Let's try to connect and then this one okay there's really trouble with the application it's the suspend Okay, so the diagram is not that good, but as you can see, this is a parallelogram. And we got already the value for your D, which is 2, 1. So we can say that this is point D, which is 2, 1.